Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. Chicago Archbishop Cardinal Blaise Supich is speaking out and supporting tighter gun laws. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli has that story. Many of the staffers that work in the emergency room trauma center joined him on stage today. So they're on the front lines of what they're calling the gun violence epidemic. And the doctors and nurses that joined the Cardinal on stage are among the team that treated 283 gunshot victims in fiscal 2017. That's nearly double the number treated in 2015. It's gotten so bad that officials say the turnover among physicians and nurses has soared right along with the number of shootings. That's why the Cardinal is backing the Illinois Gun Dealer Licensing Act, which would allow state regulators to inspect Illinois gun shops. But last month, Governor Rauner vetoed the bill, saying federal laws already in place adequately govern Illinois gun dealers. The governor says it's not needed. Do you think he's wrong? Uh, yes, I disagree with that, and I think all the people on this uh, Dias here disagree with that. Um, law enforcement wants it. Uh, they know that they have to have a way to track these weapons. Uh, they have to have a way to follow up once crimes are committed. Uh, there has to be the threat that uh, people cannot uh, have these guns with, with impunity. Now several votes are needed in order to override the governor's veto. The cardinal reached out to those lawmakers directly t today saying now is the time to do what is right, not what is necessarily popular in their districts. Now the Illinois branch of the National Rifle Association responded saying in quote, we knew this was coming, but I think we should have a division, not mix church and state. I disagree with him and so do 2.2 million gun owners in this state, end quote. Now, supporters of the measure disagree, saying there's plenty of broad bipartisan support, even among gun owners. Police are looking for the thieves who crashed into an Austin store and then took off. A car crashed through the GameStop on Cicero Avenue near North Avenue around 4.30 this morning. Police say the car was stolen. An unknown amount of merchandise was taken from the store. And finally, meteorologist Megan Glaros has your forecast. Hey there everybody, it's Tuesday and still way colder than it should be. 43 degrees for your high temperature out there today. We are going to see a slow clearing trend, so sunshine is in the offing today. That'll feel good, but temperature wise, we're still 16 degrees below where we should be on this date in April. By tomorrow, temperature warms up maybe a couple degrees, but we'll have rain off and on through the day. We'll have the potential for a little bit of snow wrapping in at night, so that is not my favorite thing to tell you. Um, by Thursday morning, clearing skies again, back to the mid 40s. We're going to be to the upper 40s on Friday, and then moving into the weekend, we're expecting temperatures generally to be in the 50s with more sunshine. So that's still just a little bit below average, but much better.